Well, look, I mean, I think there's common ground on this issue. The EU mandate goes well beyond the, the negative aspects of the, of the framework agreement that we've already commented on, and it's, a deal certainly cannot be done on this basis. It would be, in effect, to hand over the keys of, of Gibraltar to Spain because it would give them political and economic controls that would be completely unacceptable and would put us at the mercy of Spain. You've warned about lost opportunities, so what's your sense now about how things can move forward? Well, look, it's, a, it's an opening gambit, one would hope, in the negotiations, and we would hope, obviously, we, uh, you know, we, we, we want there to be a safe and beneficial agreement. Uh, the, uh, the negotiations haven't commenced yet. We hope the, the government in the negotiations can achieve something that works for Gibraltar, but certainly it cannot be on the basis of anywhere close to what the negotiating mandate says. The Spanish Foreign Minister has given his backing to the New Year's Eve agreement. So do you see that as a positive sign that things can progress, particularly as Spain is on the Council? Well, look, I, I see it as positive on one level. But, you know, for many, many years we've learned not to trust Spain. And so I'm not sure whether they are playing this with a straight bat or whether there's a double game going on, because at the end of the day, Spain is a member state of the EU. We are no longer in the EU. This negotiating mandate, it seems to me, is inconceivable, would have been issued without some consultation with Spain. So I'm not sure what's going on. I think we've got to be very, very careful indeed about what is said. Where more than meets the eye, we've got to be careful with that. And then we'll see what happens in the negotiations. In any negotiation, there's always compromise. So what would you be willing to compromise to avoid a hard Brexit? Well, look, I mean, we want there to be a safe and beneficial official agreement. We're not involved in the negotiations. We've had private discussions with the government where we have shared views about the, the kind of agreement that would be possible. We think that, that an agreement that delivers freedom of movement, that is safe economically, is good for Gibraltar. We're not in the negotiations. We're not making that judgment. I am sure that at some point we would be consulted with the government, but I repeat, and I'm not going to make uh, make a sort of pre prediction now about what's going to come through, but I, I repeat that what, if anything is put on the table which is anywhere close to the unacceptable mandate, then it simply will not work for Gibraltar.